People often use the bridge as a metaphor for love stories. From the ancient Chinese legend of the meeting of the cowherd and the weaver at the Magpie Bridge, to the thousand-year wait between Bai Sujin and Su Xian on the Broken Bridge, the meeting of Roy and Mara at Waterloo Bridge, and the encounter between Dante and Beatrice at the Old Bridge. In addition to the Broken Bridge, there is another bridge in Hangzhou's West Lake, the Xiling Bridge, which also has a poignant love story behind. There is a tomb by the Xiling Bridge, in which Su Xiao Xiao, a female poet and musician, is buried. Su Xiao Xiao was born in a merchant family during the Southern Dynasty, and her family was well off. She grew up learning Qin, chess, calligraphy, and painting, and lived a carefree life. However, when Su Xiao Xiao was 15 years old, her parents died one after another. Su Xiao Xiao was adopted by her nursing mother, Aunt Jia, and they moved to a small building by the Xiling Bridge. Relying on the savings left by her parents to live, they lived quite comfortably. Su Xiao Xiao was a talented writer, and she is exquisite and beautiful. She loved the landscape of the West Lake so much that she made her own oil wall car, galloping around. Over time, more and more literati came to her admiringly, and they sang with each other in poetry. One day, when Su Xiao Xiao was traveling around the lake in her oil wall car, she met a gentleman Wan Yu, riding a buckskin horse. The two of them fell in love at first sight. Later, Aunt Jia made the decision and chose an auspicious day to hold a wedding for them. Wan Yu's father, Wan Dao, was the prime minister of the kingdom, and when he learned that his son had married Su Xiao Xiao, Wan Dao almost fainted from anger. If the son of the prime minister marries a courtesan, won't he be laughed at by the world? Wan Dao suppressed his anger and wrote a letter with a generous gift and sent it to his son. In the letter, he wrote, I have no objection to this marriage, Xiao Xiao is a talented woman with good taste and good looks, and reminded Wan Yu not to forget his studies. Seeing that Wan Dao was understanding and reasonable, Wan Yu and Su Xiao Xiao felt relieved. After a while, Wan Yu received another letter, saying that his father was seriously ill, and his days are numbered. Xiao Xiao urged Wan Yu to go back to visit his family. Wan Yu rushed home, but found that his father was safe and sound. Wan Dao scolded Wan Yu angrily, if I didn't use a few tactics, you would have come back. He then ordered to lock him in the study and not to see Su Xiao Xiao again and chose a daughter of an eminent family as his wife.